Hey everybody, Doug O'Brien here. Um, I've been asked by the Power Team to make going to be teaching a little introduction to NLP, a Neuro Linguistic Program. So first, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Program. Neuro Linguistic Programming is kind of like an owner's manual for your brain. The brain is an incredible computer. It's aware of everything that's ever happened to you. It's aware of your hopes and dreams. It keeps your body moving, keeps you upright. You know, it does amazing things for you, but it didn't come with an owner's manual. So you don't really have a, a means whereby you can run it effectively. Anthony Robbins learned NLP back in the early 1980s from Richard Brown and John Winder, the two creators of NLP. He was an NLP practitioner. Then he started teaching NLP. I learned back in 1985 a whole NLP practitioner course from Tony Robbins, 15 days of Tony Robbins teaching NLP. I became a practitioner, master practitioner of NLP from Tony Robbins. So I'm gonna teach you guys a class, an introduction, basic fundamentals. I want you to come there because there's some really cool things you're gonna learn. As an example, one of the things we're gonna talk about are eye patterns. Eye patterns are things when people are accessing parts of their brain, their eyes move up or down or move left and right, and that's giving you information. When you learn how to read that, it enhances your communication like exponentially. So let me just give you a little sample of that. When you or anyone else looks up to your right, this is your right side, the person's facing you here, so this is the right side. When they look up to the right, they're visualizing, they're making pictures in their mind of things that they're constructing, they're, they're making it up. If they look up to the left, they're visualizing still, but they're remembering things that have happened before. So they're picturing things that is, that's in their memory. They look towards their ears. Right? If you look to your ears or anyone else does, it's an auditory construct. If it's to the right, an auditory remembered if it's to the left. Pretty interesting, right? And if they look down, then they're getting in touch with their kinesthetics, their feelings about things. And if they look down to their left, this is an exception. This is no longer the kinesthetics, this is auditory, digital, or internal dialogue. So why is this important? Because when you know this stuff, when you are aware that this is what people are doing, then you can have rapport with them almost instantaneously. Because if they're looking up and making all these pictures, you can say, oh yeah, I see what you mean. And you can be on the same wavelength as them. If they're looking towards the ears, you can go like, yeah, that sounds good to me. It's really reasonable. It sounds like it really resonates with you know, the way I'm hearing it. And if they're looking down, you can say things like, yeah, I feel the same way too. Right? And you get an instant work over the people. This is just one. I hope you come and join us because it's going to be a lot of fun and you're going to walk away with skills that will really change your life.